annual Andy Jam was held at the barn today. The event started at noon and had multiple bands, prizes, drawings, raffles, and even and a lot more to support the life of Andy Quinn. The proceeds for the event go towards a scholarship to allow students to attend the Zane State Police Academy, a dream job of Andy Quinn. His father and event organizer, Paul Quinn, says that he believes that the scholarship is helping the entire community. Now more than ever, I think uh, quality, qualified law enforcement officers are, are needed more than ever. And uh, this is certainly one way that we can help make that happen by uh, enabling someone to uh, attend a police academy that might not otherwise have that opportunity. And uh, you know, we're all invested in this community and want a safe community. In the past, the event has raised over $4,000. The owner of the barn, Jim Watson, says that it is always a good idea to collaborate to bring out local talented musicians. We've collabor collaborated on different uh, music festival themes like this. We also do one uh, for the National Alliance on Mental Illness uh, and to fight addiction and uh, to raise awareness around uh, mental illness uh, in, in, in the fall and we've done that for the last eight years. Uh, so Paul has a, a great, a vast uh, network of musicians that he's worked with at different events and uh, we have a lot of friends and of course Danesville's home of live music is here at the barn. The event has sounds for 11 hours including sounds from the Quinn family, Rolling Rockers, Steve Spires, Matt Frampton and Grounded. And sit tight because after this we will have details on the president's recent visit to South Korea.